Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about how to convert the SI unit of energy into the CGS unit. And we will continue our discussion with the force and power also. So in the previous section we learned that Joule is the SI unit of energy. CGS unit was org calorie was conventional unit it is not SI unit neither it is CGS unit we use it generally in thermodynamics so normally when we are talking about heat we use this and this unit and this is not the SI unit we may call this as a conventional unit a general unit in the same way when you are dealing with electricity it is kilo watt hour now in the previous section we have already seen that joule is kg meter square upon second square we are supposed to convert this joule which is the SI unit into CGS unit that is arc now we may split up like this kilogram into meter square upon second square 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 gram we may write down 1 over here as it is not going to affect our equation we may also write down 1 over here again it is not going to affect our mathematical calculation so 1 kilogram that is equal to 1000 gram and remember this is actually 1 meter the whole square upon second square we may also choose to put this one inside the bracket as one square is one only so it is not going to affect our mathematical calculations okay now this is thousand gram multiplied by one meter is hundred centimeter whole square upon second square we need not to convert time because time is already in the CGS unit so this is CGS unit, this is CGS unit and this one is also in CGS unit. So this is 1000 gram into 100 square is 1, 2, 3, 4, 10,000 centimeter square upon second square. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 10 raised to 7 gram centimeter square upon second square and these are all the conversions from the joule this is arg so this is 10 raised to 7 arg so we have come to a very important conclusion that 1 joule 1 joule is equal to 10 to the power 7 arg let us also convert kilowatt hour into joule 1 kilowatt hour can also be broken down into 1 kilowatt into 1 hour 1 kilowatt can be kilo means 1000 so 1 kilo means 1000 1 kilowatt means 1000 watt into 1 hour hour means it is 60 minutes and multiply by 60 second so 1 hour is 60 into 60 second ok now we might wonder what is W W is actually power and power is given by energy upon time SI unit of energy is joule and SI unit of time is second so joule per second is called watt W A T T so the SI unit of power is joule per second or watt I may choose to write down here watt as joule per second as we have already seen it over here now multiply by 60 into 60 second 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 cancels and then I have here as uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 into 6 is 36, 
so 36 into 10 raised to 5 that is joule you may write down this as 3.6 into 10 raised to 6 joule as it is more dimensionally correct so here 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 3.6 into 10 raised to 6 joule this 1 kilowatt hour is said to be or 1 kilowatt hour or this is said to be 1 unit so when you look at your electricity bill it is it's written that in 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 the in the past month you have used 30 units so one unit means you have used one kilowatt hour of electricity or you have used these many joules of electricity and one unit is roughly rupees 8 so if you if you use one unit electricity you have to pay 8 rupee to the government in the same way your electricity bill is also prepared on these calculations